A very good morning, students. My name is Dr. Mansuman Kaurandhava. I'm going to take your lecture of basics of food safety and microbiology. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the brief introduction of the subject, what it is. Then I'm going to tell you about your syllabus, its contents. And finally, I'm going to tell you how you can easily use the Khalsa College Patiala website to download your syllabus and get all the information which is required. Let's get started. Basics of food safety and microbiology. Now let's split this subject word into two names, food safety and microbiology. Now food safety, it includes, is used as a scientific discipline describing handling, preparation and storage of food in ways that prevent foodborne illness. In simple words, you can use it, the safety which is required to prevent the foodborne diseases or the illness. Now, the occurrence of two or more cases of a similar illness resulting from the ingestion of common food is known as foodborne disease outbreak. Let me give you a fine example. There are chances when sometimes you eat that food which is not fit for a consumption. That is, the food which is kept outside from the refrigerator, you and your family eat that food. Now that food might contain the microorganisms which are not good for your health. After few days or after very next day, you have diarrhea, vomiting. This basically is known as foodborne illness. Now there are microorganisms which are present in the food which causes these kinds of illness. So, to define the food safety, we can say that we have to provide the food the safety from the microorganism. Now, what is microbiology? Microbiology is the study of microorganisms. Those can be unicellular, which is single cell, multicellular, cell colony, or acellular, that is lacking cells. This we are going to discuss in the coming sessions. Now microbiology encompasses numerous sub-disciplines including virology, bacteriology, protistology, mycology, immunology and parasitology. When we combine these two words that is food safety and microbiology, now we have to study the basics. We are through with the definition of food safety. It means to keep the food safe from what? From microorganisms. Microbiology is the study of microorganisms. Now, food can transmit pathogens which can result in the illness or death of a person or other animal. The main medium are, that is the mode of transmission is, from where the food gets being thing, that is the bacteria can be present, viruses can be present, mold and fungus can be present in the food. So basically we can say that when your food is infested with these things, the bacteria, viruses, mold or fungus, then you get the illness. Right? Now there are some safety aspects according to the WHO to keep the food hygiene. The first one is to prevent the contamination, contaminating food with pathogens spreading from people, pets and pests. This you can use, can be done by separate raw and cooked foods to prevent contaminating the cooked food. Cooked foods for the appropriate length of time and at appropriate temperature to kill the pathogens. The best example is here is the milk, the raw milk which we get from the market. We boil it, boil it for appropriate time and temperature so that we can kill the microorganisms, the pathogenic microorganisms now, I would like to tell you what are pathogenic microorganisms here. Those microorganisms which causes disease, they are known as pathogenic microorganisms. So, best example is boiling of milk. Then, another point is store the food at proper temperature. This is also very important. Use safe water and safe raw material. So, these are the basic guidelines by WHO by which you can you can maintain the food hygiene 
Now, coming up to the syllabus part, you can go to this website. In the coming video, I'm going to tell you how you can search your syllabus. This is your syllabus. I've taken some screenshots. This is your scheme. In the first year, you are going to read English Communication Skill 1, Punjabi Compulsory, and Punjabi uh, Compulsory or Mudla Gyan. This is for those students, or Punjabi Elementary, what we called it as, for those students who have not studied Punjabi in their 10th class. Then third subject is Basics of Food Processing. Fourth one is Bakery Science and Technology. This is my subject, Basics of Food Safety and Microbiology. And these two subjects, we are going to have the practicals of 557. Your theory exam will be of 70 marks and your internal assessment will be of 30 marks. These are the references from which I have taken the material of these slides. Now, now I am going to tell you how you can search your syllabus in the Khalsa College Patiala website. Open the link www.google.com. Enter the name Khalsa College Patiala. There it is. This is the website, and you can easily download directly from here. Right? Download the syllabus. Labels, select the course, undergraduate course, select the session 2019-20 and show the syllabus. Here you can type the name BWOC Food Identity Activities Heritage Semester 3 and Semester 1. Right. You can easily download it and these are your audiences. You can this labels has been designed to qualification pack baking technician operative reference ID for. They will be responsible for baking of products and maintaining their consistency and quality. So this is your pack, qualification pack, baking technician slash operative. So these are the things which we are going to inculcate when we are going to pass out your first semester. Now this is your scheme which I have shown you, the semester 1 scheme, the general subject, 1, 2 and 3, the general subject, 1, 2, these are the core subjects or the skilled subjects and these are the practicals. Then, this from here, this is the second semester and then this is the semester 1 syllabus. You can directly go to the syllabus and see your syllabus forms. Now, this was the method which I have told you like this directly. But if you go on the site, that is Khalsa College Patiala site, then go on the, at the bottom, right, download the syllabus. Similarly, you can download the date sheet. Right? This is your admission portal from where you have got the admission. New student, important instructions, old student instructions, certificate courses and beyond. Thank you so much.